Well, the next part is to show you the basic parameters of the player. You can find them here. Okay, uh, the player has two scripts. Uh, the one that controls the movement and basic actions is the car controller and the other one, the inventory, is, has all the weapon and, and health stuff, okay? So, uh, in the car controller, we will see a lot of parameters here that are related to movement and speeds. Um, this is not... Um, very uh, specific, uh, but uh, I will fix it in newer versions and next release. Uh, the thing is, this parameter move speed multiplier works f using only root motion. Okay, this one here. Then this one is going to be hidden because this one is for um, traps and other kind of things that are going to slow down this the player okay and and then we have the next parameter anim speed multiplier and all the other sp uh, speeds that work uh, using a uh, non root motion uh, okay if he, this is turned off then we are going to use these parameters okay so we are going to turn off this enemy spawner and then the the best thing to do is to play the game without the maximize on play okay so we can get the player and the inspector here and then we can choose the player node of the game instance and tweak the parameters uh, if we want to run faster then we can Okay, this is moving faster. Okay, this was a default movement. Okay, Th then move faster, aim faster, like move aim faster. So maybe five, then it's going to walk faster in the aiming you will see that it's going to start uh, sliding that's why I use the grid in the floor and then you can change this multiplier of animation so maybe 2 is going to work better maybe it's too faster but it's more related to the grid okay but the idea is to be able to change it and get the feeling you want okay uh, then the sprint is uh, using shift okay now the sprint is really slower than, than other one so maybe 12 or now it feels uh, it's better okay so these are the parameters you want to change to to get your character moving uh, as you want okay then you can change the role to champ and now it's going to champ. OK. 
Okay. And these are uh, animator done by you, so uh, the blending between one uh, state to other state are going to be slower or, or faster. Okay. Um, if you check this, you are going to start using uh, joystick uh, aiming, not mouse aiming. And these are uh, uh, BFX for roll and stuff. There's that's pretty much the parameters of the movement of the player, okay? Um, now, in the next video, we are going to show you the parameters of the inventory. Okay, something I forgot to tell you. If you are changing these parameters, okay, now uh, maybe you uh, change this to 10 and to 3 and to 12, I don't know, 7, I don't know. And you like all those parameters, those are, aren't going to be saved when you press stop, okay? Because you are changing them in an instance of the game. When you're happy with this, you have to um, change them here in your prefab. Okay, so you can choose to remember them and change them going between one and, and the other, or maybe something I used to do is to use the snipping tool of Windows and save this, okay, as an image. So I can press stop or, or do anything. I'm going to slide them to the other monitor to, to see them and change them here. But the image is there so I can copy all the parameters. Sorry, 3, 12. And I'm copying all the, those parameters here, okay? And I can save them if I want, so maybe this is like a backup or an idea of what I want, or I have two or three options, and I can save them here, okay? So now, if I change them here, when I press play, the character is moving faster hmm? and it's using those parameters if I check the using those parameters